All right, and now we're to the tasting of Sabo. This is our flagship IPA. And I know it's been a product that's been on the market for a little bit, but I haven't played with cryo hops a whole lot. And I was really trying to, we're always trying to take that next step with all of our beers, but the step you're trying to take with IPA is always push how tropical, how intense, how much flavor and aroma can you get into one of those beers with really just having enough bitterness to be balanced. I, I have to tell you, I'm really pleased with the direction this beer is going. Again, you're always trying to keep that mindset of aiming for the target, the, aiming for the bullseye that you're never gonna hit, right? Just wanna keep getting better and better with it. But I really like where Sabo is at right now. Big, bright, intense tropical notes on the nose, but then just that really nice, heavy, I like to call it like saturated hop flavor. Um, just really dense. It's pouring really well. Uh, I, I'm not gonna lie, we, and we've been brewing this beer for the last 18 months. And, and as I mentioned, always trying to make it better. And I think we're really starting to hit our stride with this beer. In my mind, super drinkable, just enough bitterness to be balanced, but really pushing all of that dense, tropical, tangerine type notes. I, I'm, I'm really pleased with it right now. Anyways, where are we gonna be going with this beer from here? Because the whole thing is we're always trying to push as much hot flavor and aroma as we can with IPA, right? There's kind of no, no end to that. We're gonna be working with some different products. There's hop oils and stuff out there right now. I'm really gonna be looking at some of the other products that can be used just in Whirlpool or potentially even hot uh, in, the, in the fermenter, or products that can actually even be used hot in the fermenter. If we get to using techniques like that, I'll, I'll explain it as we go. Sabo's been a fun one for us. Uh, I think everybody wants to have that really top flight IPA and it, it really is a measuring stick. For us with this beer, we're always gonna be looking on ways, techniques to try to push those flavor and aromatics forward. We're gonna be looking at different hot products. Right now we use cryo in this and we're gonna keep trying some of the new things that are, or newer things that are on the market. Anyhow, if there's anything that you saw process-wise, anything you had a question about, something you want me to go more into depth on, to clarify, or if you just appreciated the content, the information that we brought to the table, please give a like or comment down below. Subscribe, we would really appreciate it. Cheers. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you feel as if you got any value out of the video, please like and subscribe. There are also other videos that you can watch. They're gonna maybe be over here or over here. Appreciate you watching.